Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to Cosmic Mystic. Just sitting here, being a little lazy, <laughs> laying on the green screen. You'll see some of my art behind me. Um, things have been crazy, guys. I had to go home to my island. Had to handle some things with my family. Put some things to rest. You know, when you got six, seven, eight, fifty trillion planets in retrograde. It's time to close some doors on some old chapters and things that just, like, don't matter anymore. Then I got myself an art agent, and so now I'm preparing all of these pieces to show my art for the first time to the public. And that's scary, but it's also very humbling, and I'm super grateful. And between all that and starting a new job and getting acclimated in my new city, haven't been of the vibration to really channel a good reading for you. But then, everything kind of settled out, and I thought, when I get home from work tonight, I'm gonna do some readings for my cosmic mystic soul family and anyone who's just passing through. And then I got an awesome request, what's up, Goddess Barbie, to do a reading on the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, and how the retrograde, in um, particular Mercury retrograde, how it's affecting everybody's energy. So, hey, hey, here I am to do the reading for you. So, I hope you enjoy this reading, and I just wanted to say hey. And I'm being a little lazy, a little slothy, but it's well-deserved. And no matter where you are, what's going on, I love you, and I pray for your happiness. So, let's get straight into the reading. I will look at the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine as a collective, and then I'll go into the individual energies, so you can check the timestamps in the comments below. See you soon. <laughs> So, dear viewer, usually I'll have um, the camera a lot closer to the cards, but I'm reading on a different surface today as I'm building a special table for these readings that I do for YouTube, as I need more space to read for you. So, until I finish constructing that, waiting on some materials to get here, you guys know how that goes, waiting on something during Mercury Retrograde. Ay, ay, ay. So I'll do my best to bring the cards up into uh, the camera's focus for you to see. But to begin the reading, I'm asking about the divine masculine and the divine feminine's connection collectively as a whole. So I petition to God Goddess about you guys at the present moment, meaning the month of July uh, throughout the Mercury retrograde energies. I also asked about any situations or issues at hand, obstacles, challenges, um, helpful outside references and resources, what the divine feminine has to say, what the divine masculine has to say, and any advice and additional considerations that spirit wants you guys to take into mind. So starting out the reading, I have the secret at present, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, you guys pulled the Six of Wands. There's a lot of activity going on. One or both of you may be traveling at this time, preparing trips to take, maybe considering what it is that you exactly want to do next. Some of you have been studying. Could be that you are studying each other could be that you're also evaluating different types of options that you know are going to lead you to success. One or both of you may be trying to move forward in your life in a way that would be considered more traditional. I have the Hierophant as the clarifier from the bottom of the deck here. You know, one or both of you are in... A time period of celebration of, um, I would also say, philanthropic, like philanthropy types of activities also happening as well at this time. But the overall energy, yes, especially with the Hierophant, so then we have 
we have Taurus and we have Venus present. So it's how to move forward successfully, harmoniously. At this time, uh, many of you are seeing lessons that happened previously in the past now uh, playing themselves out as teachable moments meaning you may have had some experiences previously divine masculine divine feminine which made you feel unsure about um about why certain events were occurring in your life how you had attracted certain individuals into your life trying to figure out what aspects of yourself were being reflected back to you possibly in situations that may not have been um not so much toxic but harmonious because i'm focusing on the five of swords here which is underneath the energy of the six of wands and the hierophant so i have to say that the month of july if it is not already thus so happening for you it's going to be revealing itself shortly where you are going to see how previous things had to happen to give you some type of knowledge to handle whatever is happening with you right now. So it's safe to say that any successes that you are currently experiencing, divine masculine, divine feminine, it is because of some type of hard um, turmoil, hard sweat, something very unpleasant, a lot of various um, outside energies and outside opinions being unsure about where to invest your energy or if you were investing your energy in the correct um, circumstances, situations, peoples, right? Many of that, ha much of that had to happen for you guys to get to where you are now, which is, um, I would say, a level of discernment with the Hierophant here that did not previously exist, which will allow you to navigate through any of the um, conflicting energies that one may be experiencing during this Mercury retrograde process. So relying on what you already know to guide you through, navigate you through, transverse you through any unfamiliar people's places, circumstances at this time will do you well. You see, because a lot of the previous, with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords and the Hanged Man, a lot of the previous uh, misfortunes, mishaps, um, confusing circumstances that happened previously, they were just preppers. Kind of like um, a preparatory exam to get you ready for the real exam. And so now, during this Mercury retrograde season, this July 7th through the 31st, Dear Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, you are coming uh, to meet the real thing. And that's going to play out in various ways in your life because, you know, we are each unique individuals and the tarot will not pick up on every specific. But I can say to you that if previously you were dealing with individuals that had to teach you about self-restraint, um, about uh, gossip and jealousy and the the lower vibrations and how that can affect your energy field, right? You got a chance to see what can happen when you allow conf conflict. Uh, individuals who have very chaotic and warlike energies about them. You got a chance to see what it's like when you allow these certain vibrations into your life. And you also got a chance to see divine masculine and divine feminine that even to the best of your abilities, in the terms, in the sense of keeping your vibration to its maximum potential at any given moment, you were still not able to prevent the leaking of the lower vibrational energies into your field, you see. So many of you had stark lessons previously that taught you what happens when you do not mind your energy when you do not respect your boundaries and when you do not practice self-love first first and foremost and then you see when you allow these conflicting energies in dear divine masculine and divine feminine it leeches toxicity into your life and into the best of your ability you know you cannot so much take it out and away from you until you remove yourself from said environment or said individuals who are bringing this vibration onto you so it's been a stark lesson in 
learning about how you are affected by the energies and the environments around you, you see. And now you will find during this Mercury retrograde process, especially with the emperor here, I feel that the divine masculine is being tested heavily at this time. The divine feminine, um, you know, she's working through... <sighs> She's working through what she needs to focus on and what she doesn't need to focus on because mainly I can see the divine feminine is getting to the bag. She's about the coin. Whereas the divine masculine is finding that a lot of what he previously experienced was to prepare him for now. So I'm picking up two energy streams here. It can go one or both ways. It can go where... He was sent um, a black widow type of spirit, yes? And this energy uh, really put him through the ringer. Uh, many of you will call it a karmic. I don't subscribe to such. I feel that everyone is meant to come into our lives to teach us something, okay? So this uh, soulmate of a lower vibration came and really put the divine masculine through the ringer. So that the divine masculine could prepare himself to resist a true black widow whom or which he is meeting currently. And then for the other energy stream, it was so that divine masculine would appreciate the divine feminine. What I'm picking up a lot here is a lot of divine masculines and feminines meeting for the first time. Also, where there was confusion, thinking that someone previously was a divine counterpart, only to realize that they were what is now termed to be karmic. Um, I still say they're a soulmate. Everyone comes to teach us, you know. However, dear viewer, you know, I'm going to use multiple decks for this so we can get into like a super, super, super deep reading because I'm picking up two different energy streams. So I'm going to read on both. The divine masculine's energy is coming up heavy more so than the divine feminine, though I petitioned the cards to ask about both when I was shuffling. I have to say that with the current energies of Cancer and Capricorn and a little bit of Gemini as well, the Divine Masculine may be feeling that he's a bit under attack. For those of you who have access to your Divine Masculine social media, just know it's a crock of bull. Whatever they're posting on there, I believe they're posting their best life. But really, there truly is a lot of loneliness going on right now with the Divine masculine and he's feeling disconnected from his divine feminine because the focuses are elsewhere i feel that where the divine masculine is currently the divine feminine has already surpassed these lessons she's in a completely different space so she is more focusing towards her responsibilities towards increasing her her wealth be it wealth of mind wealth of family wealth of finance Whereas the Divine Masculine at this time, he's trying to decide which way is left and which way is right. Who is genuine and who is insincere. And the issue with that I see is that many Divine Masculines may be so caught up with trying to trying to maybe prove, make someone prove themselves that they're missing out on an opportunity. Okay, that's just the very first couple of cards. So let's get deeper into the reading. So, I want to know about any issues or situations at hand, and for that, I pulled the Five of Swords. With the Queen of Swords here, so here is the energies of Gemini from the eclipse that happened on the 3rd coming into play with Mercury's energies as well. Listen, there is so much confusion and so uh, many outside opinions and outside influences. Even if you are keeping your truest desires, divine masculine and divine feminine within, right? Other things are influencing you. So maybe you turn on your Instagram and you are scrolling through the timeline and there are so many various... Um, streams of content coming at you that there isn't a, a spirit of discernment enough at this time for you to separate yourself from those energies which do not belong to you and in doing so 
at this time you may be tending to absorb uh, situations energies um, etc that have nothing to really do with you but are influencing your thought process therefore influencing the types of decisions and actions that you take at this time it's it's an energy of check and double check again however it's not outside of you it's double check double check again within you head and heart are they in balance um the the places and the manners from which you are acting at this time are they true to you or is it something else influencing you Something else is telling you, oh, don't make that decision. Don't take that route. Don't do that choice because, I don't know, fear or someone else wanting to dictate your actions, though they do not have to live the results or the consequences of those actions, you see. It's, it's an energy of be very careful of people wanting to vicariously live through you because they lack the courage to do whatever it is that they are wanting to do within themselves. I feel that the Divine Feminine, she knows what's going on, you know. The Divine Feminine says Mercury is in retrograde. The Divine Masculine is like, yo... <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I I think, you know, Mercury is in Gatorade again. Um, I, I don't know what that means, but everything's so confusing. So, I mean, really, the Divine Masculine must stop to tune within. I feel that there is too much focus on caring about what other people think. Now, I have the Emperor and the hierophant here dear viewer so i also feel that there may be something also going on within divine masculine's family also maybe maybe so for you divine feminine you are um coming into some conflicts with the masculine energies as a whole whether they be your fathers your brothers your your lovers your uncles your mentors professors etc you may be seeing uh, a lot of the conflicting energies that your divine masculine is going through mirrored back to you through your interactions with other masculine energies. Now, what I'm really picking up strongly here with the Hierophant and the Emperor is divine masculine's family. There's something going on in the family dynamic which is causing some type of confusion. So there's a bit of indecision here. Someone is trying to decide. Um, I would have to say someone is trying to decide if they want to invest in something. They're trying to decide if it's going to be worth the amount of work that needs to be put in. Or if it's not a lot of work that is causing someone um, to pause with the hanged man here then we are dealing with an energy where someone is not wanting to stir the pot. But maybe at the same time, because I have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here off to the side. So maybe at the same time, someone may be feeling propelled by destiny, an uncontrollable force to move in a particular direction. Now, Divine Feminine, Many of you may feel like you are being drawn in a new direction, whether it be towards a new career, a new location to live, or a completely new masculine energy, one with which you would have a romantic connection with. And there's juggling and decisions here because we have the swords, conflicting energy, like, do I wait for my masculine or do I take this new opportunity? I feel you guys on that one because I never thought that I had a divine counterpart until recently. And... Like, I don't think I have met him yet, be or her, I don't know, um, because I believe I would have, like, an, a knowing of, upon meeting them. But I do feel that, like, I'm in their general vicinity, if that makes sense. Like, I'm getting closer to something somehow. And this is amazing for me because I, I thought I was just a wandering soul. I didn't believe that I had a counterpart, at least not one manifested in this life. And... 
I know what you guys mean because it feels like you are getting closer and closer to something. Yet at the same time, you have many conflicting energies that are asking for your attention. And it's like, do I stay and hold space for the masculine energy that I know is my counterpart? Or do I accept reality as it is, meaning probably the counterpart is not so much connected at this time and so therefore should i entertain other energies right it's tricky because if you are approaching it from a spiritual perspective you do not want to entertain other energies but at the same dynamic there is an element of force here an element of fate the archangels and I also see the primordial energies. It's with the four of pentacles as if the energies are out of your control, divine feminine. I don't want to say that the divine masculine is is exhibiting like a cowardly energy because that's not true. But there is a lot of mental confusion here, so much so that it prevents one from taking action. Listen, for most of you, your, your divine masculine, divine feminines, your divine masculine, he, he's searching for you and cannot find you. And then for others of you, your divine counterpart, he watches you, maybe even tests you. But for some reason, there is no movement. It could be that one is waiting for the retrogrades to pass, but... As um, a student of astrology, I do not feel that one should do that, but it's none of my business. This would be the one time ever, like the one Mercury retrograde ever, guys, that I would say to you to make a move on somebody if you are thinking about it. Just because we are dealing so much with uh, Venus and Cancer and this these energies are so heavily aspected by cancer and gemini has such a beautiful influence over it i would say go for it but to pace it and to not make things serious into august but don't wait until august because with the five of swords here someone or something's about to move in on somebody now i'm going to read the energy separately so it'll come through and we'll know what's happening more later. So to continue with the reading, I've got obstacles and challenges. And I've got the Eight of Pentacles in that position. So for some of you, it's there isn't enough money. With the Queen of Cups, there is only money for the essential things. And then for others of you, there are too many... Um, too many uh, challenges in the work environment. And then for others of you, especially uh, those of you who are divine feminines in same-sex relationships, and for the divine masculines who are attracted to, um, to women who are women in physicality, okay? There may be some other mm, interest here. I have to say it's an interest because I have the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords with this Queen of Cups. I do not feel that this is you, Divine Feminine. I feel that this is an, a, an, another feminine energy, whether it be male or female, it doesn't matter. It's someone who holds the feminine essence, you see? And this person is a piece of work and they are taking a lot of um, energy away from some particular divine masculines. Like the situation is dead and gone with the Ten of Wands here, but it seems like someone keeps trying to restart a situation. Someone won't let go. Yeah, that's all obvious because everybody knows about the retrogrades that are going on right now. But I have to say this and I will just you know, have to repeat it like everybody else, right? Please, this is not the time to go back to someone from the past, right? If you cut ties, let those people stay where they are. Keep them back behind you. There is no place for them going forward in the future with you, dear viewer. I promise you, let the dead things fall. It may be the summertime, 
at least in the in the uh, northern hemisphere <laughs> but let's just pretend it's a crisp fall month i don't know september october and just imagine all of the dead leaves falling off the tree and mirror that in your life let the dead things go these uh, obstacles and challenges, divine masculine and feminine, they're coming from people outside of yourself. And they're also coming from you feeling uh, this, this incredible sense of responsibility that I guess, I guess you guys just feel like there's no one else but you to handle it. And so it all relies and falls on you. Man, can I so resonate with this reading? <laughs> In the past three years, I have buried 80% of my family. And I do understand, like, that that feeling. And it can come in various ways, you know. That's how it, it is affecting me. And for many of you, it just may be something where you feel like no one can quite do the job as well as you can. Whatever it may be. Whatever the situation is. There's a sense that no one's going to quite be able to handle it like you. And so you have to overextend and overexert yourself until it's a job well done and, and a job complete. And then for others of you, it's juggling. Um, do you take on a second job? How are you going to make your ends meet? Uh, something that should have been, you know, gone and released is still lingering forward. A lot of you are trying to figure out what is blocking you financially. Yes, and then for many of the divine masculine, these old uh, flames, these uh, f these old flames who live in a very chaotic and warlike energy. I mean, you know, m the masculine goes through domestic violence as well, and uh, verbal and emotional abuse as well. So I am picking up an energy of this type of feminine who. Um, lacks restraint and l she lacks restraint she lacks uh emotional control uh something that would have happened to her in childhood multiple people um would have caused her trauma in one experience i don't even know where that came from but uh she carries this pain forward and um it is not something that she is willing to let go. This is a feminine energy that uses um, the pain of the childhood, of the experiences to fuel her. And then she then goes and takes it out on whichever masculine energy is with her. So this is not a divine feminine. This is what you guys would term a karmic. I just say that they're lower vibrational soulmates. So with this lower vibrational soulmate that I'm picking up here, guys... It would appear to me as if um, she is not about to let go. Um, something about this is like a mill ticket to her. Something about this is status and success to her. Um, I'm picking up the internet here. So she may like run a internet business or... She may uh, gain a lot of her income through endeavors over the World Wide Web. The thing about it, which is the huge problem here, is for some of you, she's with your divine masculine, right? Others of you, she is with your divine feminine. And you can see what's happening if you are aware. If you are not aware, you can sense this in your sacral chakra. OK, and, and in, in your solar plexus, like the anxiety, the, like the bubble guts kind of feeling you're picking up on, on your masculine's turmoil with this energy. So um, there's this song, right? Like um, it's called. Um, uh, oh, my God. They're such a beautiful couple. Uh, Offset, Cardi B, do anything for clout. OK, it's definitely something like this, dear viewer. So this is a this is a a karmic energy yeah a lower vibrational soulmate blah 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 this is a heifer who loves the drama drinks too much fights very like loud um very abrasive um will withhold uh her feminine charms if she's not like feeling that she's being invested in in a particular way 
um, has like no love or desire because I solely have swords and burden with her. She views the, the situation with this divine masculine to be utterly um, a waste of her time. She would much prefer to be doing other things, but there's something here with the emperor and the hierophant and the eight of pentacles that she gains from this situation which she deems to be priceless and valuable but it's not the actual love of the divine masculine i have guys zero cups here and the water energy that i do have the hanged man the will of fortune it's a it's a watery kind of energy that drowns one you are drowning in emotions here so this is not this is not a really good thing. This is an opportunistic type of connection here. So spirit has been blocking the divine masculines who are in connections with these queens of cups. Okay. We are not going to go into Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're not going to do that, guys. This is deeper than that. We can't focus on signs because then we can miss out on what we really need to see because she's coming out the Queen of Cups. Maybe, you know, her, her Venus is in Cancer or Pisces. Her sun sign, moon sign rising, yeah, may have nothing to do with any cup energy. So we're not even going to focus on that. We're going to look at the heifer as she is because she's a heifer. <laughs> so... Guys, pray for your divine masculine. Send them good vibes, right? I know that I have no business speaking on it, especially when I'm not really sure if I have a divine counterpart or not, right? But what I can tell you is this. Hmm. It is so much better to send love and light than it is to send um, dark vibes, however that may be expressed through one right it's so easy to let our smaller self make us feel that the best way for us to handle this whole divine counterpart situation is just to throw our peace fingers up in the air and be like deuces f you i don't got time for this i'm gonna go on with my own journey okay that's beautiful and that's powerful and ashewa okay but guys also also, it does a lot of good to send love and light to your divine counterpart. Because, guys, they need it right now. The masculine is is in it. There is um, magic here. There, you darn right there is. Someone is, like, burning candles and stuff. Um, the <laughs> Someone is putting something in someone's food as well to try to coerce one to to go in their direction it's energy manipulation of the lowest variety where i feel that this feminine energy this karmic yeah she could be using this energy to propel herself forward as really with her coming on top of the eight of pentacles she has everything she needs she really doesn't need the divine masculine but she does not know her own worth and her own value therefore she feels that she has to achieve success through riding on the coattails of another she views this divine masculine um as a waste of her time boring she cannot stand to be intimate with this person she cannot stand this person but she feels that it is a necessary evil for her to meet her goals the sad part about it, guys, is I'm picking up during this Mercury retrograde that there is a competitor amongst this divine masculine. And I feel that this energy, this karmic woman, she is, um, she or he, is uh, double timing the divine masculine that I'm picking up on here. And I believe that someone's going to use some type of messaging, direct message, instant message, text message, etc. To like light some fire under someone's butt. Um, I'm picking up a lot of Pisces energy here. I'm picking up Taurus energy here. I'm picking up Aries. I am picking up um, all the air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Definitely Taurus. Okay, just for those of you who are interested. So, um, yeah, something's going to be coming to light within the next five days to six days. I'm recording this on July 10th, which is a Wednesday 
here in the United States. So let's just say from July 11th, plus or minus six days, some truths are going to come out. The truth is coming to the light, guys. Wow. Um, okay, let's get into any helpful um, outside resources. No, there really aren't any. This is something that Divine Masculine has to see for himself. Okay, guys, this is an energy of what happens when you invest years or a lot of your energies into situations and into people whom you had no business being with in the first place. So I feel that a lot of the divine uh, masculines are going to be receiving their karmas. You see, because it has to clear the the road for some of you it is because within the year of 2019 you and your divine counterparts will come into union and for others of you you know you are going to go off uh, i feel a lot of divine feminines with other masculine energies because your divine masculines are not moving forward because uh the enemy is blinding them with something from the past, something which does not care for them and has no no real intention for them to succeed and be successful. It is only for uh, their self-gain and self-preservation. Another thing I'm picking up here, guys, is the energy of abortions. So um, I'm just going to leave that there. That's none of my business. But I can tell you that it has been happening un unbeknownst to someone. There's a situation here where someone keeps saying that they are um, pregnant, that they are having some type of problem or complication, but in reality they are going and terminating. And they're keeping this to themselves with the Four of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, your Divine Masculine is going to be f uh, discovering that like uh, two or three pregnancies have been done away with and um one major one in particular like it may have been uh further than the first trimester very very painful okay but there's you know i can't read that energy guys i have to keep going so um let's see here what does the divine feminine have to say, the divine masculine, and then we'll get into the individual energies. So for the divine feminine, I have the ten of wands and the nine of cups. You know, this is like, I just want love. I don't care about your status in life. I don't care about your money, where you are coming from, where you are going. I just want genuine love. And some of you divine feminines you guys are so real right that real can't recognize real right now instead you guys are so real and honest that people are almost thinking it's fake or it's some type of a game or some type of like i guess i'm seeing it like as like some type of illusionary like mind game or something like, people can't believe that, like, you genuinely are a good person. Just because they have been dealing with so much rubbish. Yeah. So much trash. Eh? Just, ugh, just crabs upon the barrel, right? Just, like, yuck. <laughs> just yuck, guys. That when they come into, like, a very beautiful very powerful energy because here you are divine feminine there's a cow there yes and the cow is the energy of the empress it's just like come on <laughs> like uh, you know you guys are wondering when when is my time i have been carrying this load and this weight with the ten of wands you guys just want to drop it but with the emperor right next to you you know you are trying to carry this and hold this space for your divine masculine. Yet it's becoming too much. I see where a lot of you are thinking about giving up. Yeah. And not just with like this process. But a lot of the divine feminine just are not sure which way to go right now. I see many of you are carrying your best face forward. 
a lot of the people around you have no idea what you guys are really going through. A lot of you are hiding some deep, deep, deep stuff, guys. You're going through it and nobody really knows. Outwardly, you guys are looking very successful. You guys are looking sweet as cherry pie. You guys are looking good. Like, like some yummy, um, I don't know, chocolate or something? Mm, with honey and cherry on top? Ay, ay, ay. But on the inside, many of you are crying yourselves to sleep at night. Many of you are trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet. Many of you are dealing with um, something's going on with the mother, with the grandmother, with the matriarchs in the family. Yeah, guys, I just went through that myself. <sighs> it's not easy right now. And nobody knows. Like, nobody knows. And many of you, you need touch. Like, simply to have someone touch you, to hug you in a non-sexual way, to hold your hand, to look you in the eyes and to actively listen to you. Not to offer you any advice or any direction, but just to be a present, strong force for you. Many of you are feeling like you don't have that. You are mother and father to yourself. Gosh, I can relate to this reading so much, guys. But it's not about me, so I'm not going to get into all that. But I just want you to know you're not the only one going through this. So with the Divine Masculine, I've got the Hanged Man and the Tower. I've been pulling cards from the bottom of the deck, just in case you guys are wondering. So... What are you going to do, Divine Masculine? That's what I would ask him right now, him or her, if we were face to face. It's now or never. You need to make a decision because you cannot have both. Because I have two queens here. So I have to say to the masculine energy, you cannot have both. One will bring you sorrow and one will bring you joy. And with the hanged man here, it, it's obvious but the tower puts some type of flame or fire under the divine masculine's energy, which makes him feel like he needs to act now before something gets out of his control. And then he has no control over it. And he has to sit and observe what he really wants being with something else. So I don't know, divine feminine, if he's trying to make a decision between you and another but whatever decision he is trying to make, the choice is obvious. I don't know what to say. It's, I mean, you, you can only, you know, you, you can show people the way to the door. And you can give them the key to open the door. But will they have the courage and the stamina to actually do it? That's up to them. The Divine Masculine Energy is working with Alegba right now. Papa Eshu. Yeah, you guys know I'm African, so I will bring in my African spirituality. So what does that mean, dear viewer, if you are not initiated? It means that the Divine Masculine is at the crossroads. He has to clear the path to achieve his future goals. The problem with that is if he makes the wrong turn, he is going to go surely to his downfall. And he knows it. He senses this within him, even if he can't exactly put his finger on exactly what it is. He knows that the decisions that he makes at this time are paramount to any future success. You see, Divine Feminine, the issue that I have with this is with the Six of Wands and the Hierophant. This would uh, assert to me that the Divine Masculine, uh, especially with the Emperor down here, he feels like he has reached some pinnacle of success. Like he's arrived or is like established in some way. But I don't, 
I don't think your divine masculines are understanding that that was just the beginning and that what uh, God Goddess has in store for this masculine energy is way beyond his wildest beliefs. And he has some pretty wild beliefs because the tower here with the emperor, okay? This is very flamboyant type of masculine or just ultra confident type of masculine that I'm picking up on. There's way more for him above and beyond what he can see and process for himself at this time, but it's going to depend on the decisions that he makes right now. He either will achieve a new level of success, which has never been, um, which has never been done. He will trailblaze something. He will be a first and original at something. Is what I'm picking up. But he needs to make uh, the correct choices. If he goes back into some type of temptation from the past or some type of old habitual way of doing things, uh, the universe is going to tap that ass. And guys, you know, I really don't like the profanity. Eh? So when I say to you, <laughs> when I say to you that the universe is going to tap his ass, I mean... This is some Dark Knight of the Soul cubed. That's that's Dark Knight of the Soul times three. Make the right decisions, Divine Masculine. They are very obvious decisions. It doesn't matter what's happening around you. It doesn't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter what toes you have to step on or whose hearts you have to break. You better listen to your intuition. It's a very powerful female ancestor coming true, trying to help you. To make the, the, the right decision so that you can get where you need to go. But if you allow uh, success to distract you, especially previous successes, which are dead and gone now. Yeah, you're going to get lost trying to transverse the next six to seven months of what's coming. You either will have absolute success or absolute failure. This is what I am picking up for the Divine Masculine Energy. Decisions made at this time will have profound, long-lasting effects. The majors that I have here, the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Emperor, etc., right? They are very powerful majors. But I'm getting a lot of minor cards here, which have a lot to do with one making proper decisions. So God Goddess is saying, hey, I have this plan for you, but I can only take you as far as you're willing to take yourself. You're going to keep muddying up the waters. You're going to keep playing games. You're going to keep entertaining these people that I continuously try to show you their true colors. And I continuously try to move them outside of your life. Yes. This is what God God is saying to the masculine energy. You you want to keep uh, playing Russian roulette, you're you're going to get hit. So God God is says if we cannot get you to listen, then you know those who do not hear will fill. That's that's a a timeless lesson, you know. <laughs> the last card is the emperor and that's had to do with advice and additional considerations and i got the ace of wands to clarify it here so i i won't be repetitive i i cannot be any more i think clear and concise than i already have been so i'm gonna take up the cards now i'm going to get into the individual energies but, you know, I think before I do that, I want to read on the relationship of divine masculine because it's coming through so huge in this that spirit really wants me to focus on that. So I'm going to get out my Sibylas and I'll fast forward through the shuffling for you. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so as I was shuffling the cards, the reviewer, I petitioned. Oh, by the way, if you like the reading thus far, give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it as it helps me to know if you resonate or not. Also, consider subscribing. Love ya. Okay, so as I was petitioning the cards, like I was saying, you know, what's going on with these relationships? So I just asked about the divine masculine's energy, divine feminine, because you guys seem to be okay. I mean, I know it's not easy for y'all right now, but you guys are some fighters, you're thrivers, you're survivors, you're going to get through it. It's a trying period, but that's it. It's just a period, you know, it's a phase in the journey that will pass but for the divine masculine there is a whole heck of a lot going on with him because this is more than just the journey the phase the decisions that he makes upcoming are going to determine i'd say the next 30 years of his life which could be the remainder of his life could be the prime of his life but it's going to be a very long time and it's crazy how hindsight is twenty twenty, right, dear viewer? Meaning how we look back at things and we're always like, woulda, shoulda, coulda. And this is one of those periods for a divine masculine. You know, it's going to be a woulda, shoulda, coulda, or is it going to be a hurrah, I made the right decision. Okay, so I don't know. What I picked up, though, asking about their relationships, <laughs> the Verisabila deck always lets you know what it is when it comes to people's third parties sneaking around lying divine masculine is involved with a woman who's seeing more than one person and the sad part about it is i would have to say that this woman this feminine energy even if it's uh, a male who is exhibiting this energy right ay 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 they're messing around with someone whom um divine masculine is very close with Some of them are aware of this and have the intention of breaking up this this third party union because they want to focus on this woman and they want her full attention all to themselves. And then others, it's a really nasty situation where they have no idea because I have Prigione with Allegriza Alcure, right? But Prigione has his back to the three people who are dancing so he doesn't know so for some divine masculines they are aware because with militare and allegresia this is the divine masculines who are gonna play devil's advocate and break some people up so that they can have what they want for themselves and then for the other set of divine masculines that i am picking up on they're having to turn their back to a situation because they're very much so focused on trying to hold their head above water and take care of responsibilities and obligations that they have no idea that behind their back uh, someone has been sleeping with the help that's the kind of vibe that comes through to me it would be a friend or an associate of business For the group of divine masculines who are aware that there is a third party situation, they're trying to set the situation up in a way to where they can slide in and slide someone else out. Wow, with this particular situation, so I'm going to read each one separately, okay? So we're focusing right now on the ones who um, who know that there's a third party here and they're trying to meddle their... I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're trying to meddle their way into it. For that situation... This divine masculine thinks about this situation more than they would like to admit. They also have some type of fantasy about coming together in the long term with one of the individuals or people involved in this third party. Wow, these are the cards I pick up for myself because... Because I'm a girl fighter. 
So um, some of you uh, divine mask or d- divine feminines may be like um, into like martial arts or have some type of formal training when it comes to combat. And then for others of you, it's your divine masculine who has this energy. This may be like somebody that they work out with or there's a lot of jealousy around someone getting something that the divine masculine wants. I really feel like it's a person. It could be you, divine feminine, and it could be someone else some of you divine feminines you are entertaining other suitors and this is driving the the masculine energy insane what i am picking up here with prigione and desperato per gelosio il ladro militare uh, and then with grand council uh, uh, just all that italian crap guys yeah what i'm picking up here is uh a lot of jealousy Um, jealousy that tries to get itself, um, hmm, it's not that he's hiding it, because I would have to say with hidden jealousy, that's when one chooses not to act, but this is a situation where someone is plotting and planning on this La Donna di Servecio, this feminine energy here, and see, she's got the red skirt here and the red skirt in this card, so it's the same woman. There is a situation here where some of you, you you may have met your divine counterpart, but it you met them because they were dating someone that you loved or someone whom you considered an associate or a friend of some capacity. And it's conflicting because someone here recognizes the other. One recognizes one and the other doesn't. I hope I make sense, guys. (laughs) This is an insane reading, but it's because of all of the retrogrades that are happening right now. I I am I take up the challenge. I'm one for it. So um, someone is about to come in between two people because they recognize that someone is their divine counterpart. That's one scenario I'm picking up on. Then another scenario is someone just wanting to take somebody away from another person because they feel like that person doesn't deserve this person, and, and they do. So to make that make sense. So I really feel that this is for those who have recently met their divine counterparts and may not even know it. Someone knows it and the other person doesn't. So however the universe brought in the divine counterpart, it's a tricky situation because someone's going to have to get moved out of the situation for the two divine counterparts to come together. And that may be the source of contention that I was maybe picking up on for some of you earlier because uh, if this individual is with a friend or uh, some type of business associate, they could be very messy breaking them up. However, with La Superbia, uh, counteracting La Amica here, whatever, whomever this energy is that someone can't get off of their mind with La Fidelta and Gran Signore, it's worth it. It's worth interfering and causing a bit of mess with disgrazia and ruckus because some things are gifts from heaven. And if you don't take them, then you know, the universe will move them to where they will be appreciated. And someone knows this. So they're thinking about what to do in this situation, how to how to um, be together with this individual whom they hold secret love for while simultaneously not breaking the heart of the person that they're with. But the thing about it is, like, I don't even think it's that serious of a situation. I really feel that with Gran Consolone, whatever, all that Italian, I really feel that someone is really overthinking this, dear viewer. Now, the other energy stream I pick up on here, and it could be the same situation. Gosh, 
because I feel my ancestors saying this is all the same person. So, wow. So I'm picking up uh, uh, somebody who is like in a really gnarly connection themselves with someone who's no good for them, who takes advantage of them, uses them and tries to make them jealous and make them feel some kind of way that is totally unwarranted. And then while they were in the midst of this situation, in comes in divine feminine and then if those of you for those of you who have already met your divine counterpart you would have come back into this person's life even if it was for uh, a brief happenstance of a time right you guys would have reconnected so no matter if you're meeting your divine counterpart for the first time or you're reconnecting after a long time this divine masculine's energy that I'm picking up on, he was in a really gnarly relationship, really totally big sack of crap, guys. He didn't deserve a lot of what happened to him. I feel that he was blamed for a lot of what happened to him. And so many gnarly things went on behind his back that he doesn't even know about right now, but was just so whole wicked, guys. And I don't mean in a good way. I mean, we're talking about like, I want to go get my Vaseline, put it all over my face so it can't get scratched up. And then I want to go beat this girl down. You know, like, how could you do that to this divine masculine, you heifer? But I, I can't do that because, you know, I took vows and I'm trying to be better. So, guys, then out of all of a, a sudden, you know, the divine feminine comes back into the situation or he meets her for the first time. But dang, if she came back into the situation, she is with someone else, whether it be a new relationship or a new point of focus, be it career, passion, children, etc. Her focus is elsewhere, not on him. If it is a new situation where he is meeting the divine feminine for the first time, he is like, oh my gosh, I dreamed of her, I prayed for her, and here she is, way better than anything he could have ever imagined uh, now that he can see her in the flesh. But not only is he coming out or trying to get out of a gnarly situation with a really wicked gal, <sighs> He's also trying to figure out how to tear apart his feminine from whatever situation she's currently in. Because he wants her full attention. And I also feel like uh, he's aware that the feminine is suffering. Uh, he's not quite sure exactly to what extent I okay. If you are a divine masculine watching this, it's way worse than what you think. And she really needs help. So... <laughs> I just picked that up from the from the reading that we did previously with the white cards. Um, like this is the time when you could really come through for her. I feel like she doesn't necessarily she probably needs stuff, but it'll, I don't feel like she's going to take it. I feel like your feminines are very independent boss type of ladies. Um, I feel like she needs someone to listen to her. Just to have a solid person be there for her. Because she's having to be there for everybody else. But no one's really being there for her. For those of you divine masculines who are concerned about like shaking up some type of situation. Maybe breaking someone's heart with disgracia and amulato. It's not that serious. I mean someone may like say that they have like plans. I'm just reading now. Um, from the rest of the cards in the deck, dear viewer. So someone may be saying that they have plans and stuff and they're going to invest and do all this and do all that, but it's a, it's a, it's just a wish. Fortuna, I mean, with Consolate, it's like it, it has potential, but I don't feel that this is divinely uh, blessed. So with Casa here, I pick up on the ancestors. Dottore, I do not feel that this is a, like a divinely consecrated kind of union. So if you are concerned because your divine feminine appears to be entertaining another situation, it's not going to last very long. It's not a uh, part of the master plan. Um, 
for some of you, this this may have been the only way for the universe to get you guys together to be able to recognize each other so that you could even begin to start the divine counterpart timeline for whatever, you know, God goddess has planned for your specific union. And so that would make any other party involved like a non-factor. So if you need to speak something, you you need to do it. Also, time is of the essence here. And I don't know why, dear viewer, and I keep pulling here to try to glean that, but it doesn't come through. With Domestico and La Mante, La Constanza, I have to say that God Goddess is trying to um, stabilize the divine feminine energy and whatever that may mean to her during this Mercury retrograde period. So I feel that if the divine masculine doesn't... Um, reach out to her in some type of way very 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 fast because i have fortuna here underneath disgrazia very 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 quickly someone is going to be sent in to help her divine feminine needs help guys it's not it's not looking too good for a divine feminine she's putting on her best face and she's so regal in her energy that it's hard to imagine anything not going right for her. But dispacere, prigione, she's suffering in silence. Um, you know, we need you here, Divine Feminine. Not off in space, worried about stuff that you guys shouldn't even have to be worried about. You know, just from what I learned, like uh, when the feminine energy is the one that's having to be strong, she's in her weakest energy because it's not the nature. In no historical depictions, right, do any of the mystery schools, do any of the ancestors portray the feminine as Rosie the Riveter. That's Western and modern. They portray the feminine, you know, she's being carried and she's being fed grapes and she's being pampered. And it is not to say that the woman is not, whether it's a masculine or feminine, it is not to say that the feminine energy is not strong and capable. It is simply to say that she is meant to receive. Yes, it's a receiving energy. So when she is the one who is constantly giving, it will deplete her. Do know this divine masculine, you will only be as strong as your divine feminine and your divine feminine will only be as strong as you are. So if you refuse to come to her in her time of need and if you are insistent upon entertaining uh, those energies, peoples and places which really don't mean anything and won't mean anything five years from now, let alone next week, let alone next month, especially not tomorrow then the least you could do is send her prayer and positive energy. And don't um, stalk her energies when you feel this new masculine energy move into her because uh, that's what's about to happen. The universe is sending aid to her prayers. Uh, she is a child of the universe. They will not let her suffer. And it is not to say that you are not also a child of the universe, divine masculine, but you are the masculine principle. Therefore, you must um, be the foundation upon which the pillars are set. So marinate on that. Okay, so this has been a pretty long reading. And I know I said I would get into the different energies individually, but I don't think that there's much more to say. I'm going to just go ahead and pull a few more cards. And if you're interested, stay tuned. Overall, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, many of you have been like exposing yourselves too much, too much out into the public eye and into the public um, sphere. You may be finding that you are experiencing small mishaps, um, small little things manifest that cause you to have to pause, cause you to have to think. Um, the universe may be sending things which shock the ego at this time because uh, they're trying to get your attention to tell you that you need to take a break that you need to rest, 
and that you need to uh, gather up your energies for what's to come. Guys, I feel like these current retrograde energies are nothing compared to what's coming after uh, Leo season, after August. So we'll get into that when the time comes. Now, for the Divine Feminine's energy, I got share your voice and know. So this is a time of practicing restraint, staying in your place, staying in your lane, and it's going to avoid you a lot of trauma and drama divine feminine you may see things you want to speak up on things that you feel the need to to come out and speak about and the universe is saying wait not at this time they're focusing me on the word postpone so even though the card says no they're focusing me on postpone so they're saying that it's not a no it's just a wait Wait to to share anything that you need to share with anyone because you don't want it to be um, you don't want to miscommunicate or be taken the wrong way. And then when the retrograde ends, you're still dealing with retrograde energies all because you didn't wait. Also, many of you may be thinking about branching out into something new, going to try something new. I know I am. I'm thinking about going for a third job. Guys, trying to be an artist is no joke. <laughs> but anyhow, um, I would have to say after this reading, I'm going to just take it easy and stick to what I'm doing as this wouldn't be the right time to do so. And the same advice uh, it applies to you. It's not a no, it's just a wait. Wait until we get into August. Really, Leo season, guys, is going to be very huge and profound in a really positive way for a lot of people. Also, Divine Feminine, as you have um, individuals approach you, because we have the lightning here and we have the serious uh, constellations in the back of, of this card as well, I would have to say that you are going to receive um, offers at this time and you may be inclined to reject them because of the current Mercury retrograde energies. But I have to say it again. Don't do it. Be open. Just don't make any final formal plans until August, especially around the second week of August. But it doesn't mean that you can't begin to entertain um, what's coming towards you. Begin to... Um, kind of uh, get the ball rolling per se okay so if you receive an, any offers explore them take them up don't allow the retrograde energies to prevent you uh, from accepting a blessing from the heavens you see so remember because we are wanting to bring um, heaven on earth right so that starts from within and how do you do that? Listening to self, listening to your spiritual guidance. And I believe in these moments, it will alert you to know which is something that you should explore and entertain despite the retrograde energies and which is something that you should not. So just trust yourself at this time. And to close out the reading for the Divine Masculine, I got the dance card. And I got trust your path. So with dance, I have to say, yeah, decisions. Yeah, look at the the twos here. And do something to shift your vibration, dear masculine. It's time to let the old things go. Trust your path. You're being led to something completely brand new, guys. You, many of you are going to be trailblazers, forerunners of uh, different types of endeavors which your mind has yet to conceive. So whatever you think you're working on right now that's going to be your next big uh, area of focus, God Goddess has something better for you. Your mind has yet to... <laughs> to even begin to know what this is but it's going to require you to let the old things go and to be willing to shift your energies into something new and that time starts now so with that being said this is an hour long reading or so i'm gonna do some editing see if i can trim it to about 45 minutes god goddess bless you dear viewer thanks so much for checking out cosmic mystic i pray that everything you touch be with the midas touch and i pray that your ancestors and your guides your way showers be with you to nourish you and bless you and light the way for you trust yourself love yourself and until we meet again i wish you all the best ashe <laughs>